Dear students, you know that plasma membrane allows substances to pass through it. Plasma membrane ki is property ko hum membrane permeability kehte hain. However, plasma membrane is not permeable to every substance. The structural features of plasma membrane confer it with the property of selective permeability. Selective permeability की वजह से plasma membrane कुछ substances को तो allow करती है और कुछ substances को pass करना allow नहीं करती. Due to this property, plasma membrane regulates the movement of substances across it. This property is fundamental to the functioning of living cells and the maintenance of an intracellular physiological environment which is required for carrying out various enzymatically controlled metabolic reactions. Membrane permeability varies for various substances. Ye variation do factors per depend karti hai. Ek type of the molecules or dusri size of the molecules per. Type ke lihaz se hum discuss karenge ke kis type ke molecules ko plasma membrane easily allow karti hai aur kis type ke molecules ko plasma membrane disallow karti hai. So first of all we shall discuss the lipid soluble non-polar substances. You know that plasma membrane has a continuous lipid bilayer. Due to this lipid bilayer, the lipid soluble substances can passively diffuse through the membrane easily by dissolving in the lipid molecules of bilayer. However, the rate of penetration depends on their lipid solubility and the size of these molecules. The more soluble substances will penetrate at more greater rate and uh, similarly smaller size substances will move comparatively rapidly. In comparison to the lipid soluble and nonpolar substances, the polar substances and charged particles that is ions have difficulty in passing through because of the hydrophobic interior of the lipid bilayer that is highly impermeable to water soluble substances and charged substances. Similarly, the large size macromolecules, for example proteins, cannot pass through the membrane because of their size. However, you can understand that such non-diffusible substances are necessary for normal cell functions. So, plasma membrane has evolved many structural as well as other mechanical systems which include the active and passive mechanisms and bulk transport mechanisms to allow such substances to pass through the membrane. Dear students, membrane permeability ka concentration gradient ke saath bohat vaze taluk hai. Ab hum concentration gradient or membrane permeability ka mathematical relationship study karenge. The permeability of membrane means that the rate at which it penetrates the membrane passively. If a substance is diffusible, and a continuous concentration gradient exists across the membrane, then the permeability of the membrane, that is the amount of substance crossing through the membrane per unit time, represented as delta Qs over delta T, is equal to the product of permeability constant of the substance, and its concentration gradient present on the two sides of the membrane so that we can 
read this equation as delta Qs over delta T is equal to P into concentration gradient C1 minus C2. This equation is applicable to simple diffusion only. Ye equation actively transported substances or electrolytes par apply nahi hoti. Kyunke electrolytes aqueous medium may charged particles may dissociate ho jate hain aur charged particles simple diffusion se membrane ko cross nahi kar sakte. Dear students, the membrane permeability to a substance is not a fixed or constant entity. It can be altered. Certain substances, for example, hormones and neurotransmitters can alter the permeability of the membrane to certain substances. Hormones do so by reacting with the receptor sites and influencing the channel size and carrier mechanisms. For example, antidiuretic hormone can increase water permeability of renal collecting duct in mammals up to 10 times. Isi tarhe se neurotransmitters, nerve or muscle cells mein mojood, integral membrane proteins per is tarhe se act karte hain ke unki membrane permeability for ions increase kar jati hai. 